Video calls have become a way of life for millions of people this past year as we've transitioned to working from home and even doing school at home. Now, while most laptops do have webcams that are built in and even desktop computers are able to use USB webcams, the video quality that they offer is honestly abysmal. I mean, we've all been on those Zoom calls where the person on the other side is barely even visible simply because the camera feed is completely blown out or it's pixelated beyond belief. And even if you spend upwards of even $200 on something like the Logitech Brio 4K video camera, which is one of the highest rated ones that's on the market, it still pales in comparison to what most of us are typically used to when using a smartphone to record video. So the question is, why can't we just use our smartphones as a webcam for our computer? Well, the answer is you can, and it's honestly a lot easier than you might think. I'm Nick Gray, and this is my two minute hack on how to turn your smartphone into the most amazing webcam you've ever used. To get started with this hack, all you really need is a smartphone, a laptop, or a desktop computer that's connected to Wi-Fi and the Erium app installed on both devices. You don't even need a cable to plug in your smartphone to your computer since the connection is done over Wi-Fi. So you can actually walk around with your phone and be streaming even though your desktop or laptop computer is somewhere else in the house. Of course, you're not gonna be able to see the other people on the other side, but they will be able to still see you. So the first thing you need to do is go to the App Store or the Play Store on your Android or even iOS device, because it works on both, and download the Erium webcam app. And once you have that installed, all you have to do is grant it permissions to the camera and the microphone so that the device can use those on your smartphone. Once you've done that, you need to head over to erium.com, and I'm gonna do this in real time. Once you're there, select which platform you're using, Mac or Windows, download the application, and then once it's downloaded, install it, and then you're ready to go. Now, I know you're pretty excited to jump into your first Zoom call using your smartphone as your webcam, but before you do, you wanna make sure that you have something to prop up your device or hold it up to eye level for when you're making your video calls. I recommend getting something like this, a mini tripod. This one here actually doubles as a selfie stick with the extendable arm, and also it allows you to hold your phone in landscape or portrait mode, depending on which orientation you wanna use for your video calls themselves. It's nice and versatile, and typically they only cost about 10 to $15 on Amazon. But once you have that set up, just put the legs out here, set it on your desk, and put it in front of your monitor, and you'll be ready to go. So when you are finally ready to start a video call using your smartphone as the webcam, all you have to do is launch the Erium app on your smartphone, and then within a couple of seconds, it will recognize the Wi-Fi network that your laptop and smartphone are sharing. You'll get a notification on your device that will say it recognized the camera, and then you're pretty much set to go. But before we get to that, let me show you some of the settings that you should tweak before you get started. You wanna make sure that you're in the right orientation, landscape, portrait, or even reverse landscape, if that's something you want. Uh, which camera you want to use, the front or the rear camera. It doesn't allow you to choose. Uh, if you have an ultra wide camera, it will only default to the main front and main rear cameras on the device. And then you can turn on or off auto focus, but I recommend keeping that on at all times. Some of you might be tempted to use the front facing camera since you can see yourself and it's kind of tempting just to have that as a reference point. But if you want the highest quality possible, especially if you wanna go 4K, you'll wanna to switch to the main camera on the back of the phone, the back camera. That will give you a much better sensor to deal with, with much higher dynamic range, a lot more clarity, and overall a better image or vi better video for people watching your video on the other side. The only drawback is you will have to turn your camera around, uh, but you will be able to see what you're doing within Zoom, Skype, or any other video calling service that you're using. And now the moment of truth to see if all of this actually works in the real world. I have the, my smartphone on the stand here with the Erium app opened up and I have Zoom opened right here and I'm gonna click start a new meeting. This will open up a new window. And the first time that you do this, it's gonna default to whatever the webcam was that you were using previously. So you wanna click at the bottom here where it says stop video or start video, depending on what it's at. And then you'll wanna select Erium webcam at the very bottom. And once you do, 
it should show you the video from your smartphone. As you can see here, I can block this with my finger. It's coming directly from my smartphone. And the video quality that you get here is not gonna be 4K unless you actually change the quality within Zoom. So you're gonna have to do that if you wanna make sure you're broadcasting your video in 4K during your video calls. And there you have it. In just two minutes, you've turned the cameras on your smartphone into a high resolution webcam for your laptop or even your desktop computer. But I will leave you with one final tip. If you do have an adjustable height stand like this for your smartphone, I recommend placing it right in the middle of the display so that when you are on a video call with somebody else, it'll look like you're looking directly into their eyes rather than looking up or down, which is always a little bit disorienting when you're on a video call. And that's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. And feel free to share this with any of your friends who are looking for an upgrade for their webcam situation for their laptops as well. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one.